Uh, our next young actress first came to my attention. <laughs> in, and has never in gone the, away. In the, yes, I've never gone away. <laughs> in, in, in what was called the, the trash hit, it was called, Footballers' oh, Wives. A huge hit. Where, you, where I seem to recall you played Amber mm -hmm. there, right? And then, for some strange reason, I find myself watching her on a Saturday night. A programme you never normally watch. Strictly, Strictly Come, come dancing. dancing. It was glued. Yes, yes, yes. Really? Glued. Now I'm the biggest fan of Holby City <laughs> because she's arrived there and she's putting a few noses out of joint. Have a look at this. Just trying to find my phone. I need to call my Trevor. He doesn't even know I'm in here. For God's sake. We don't even know what state your heart's in yet. Try to get out of bed. It's just idiotic. OK, calm down. No harm done. Uh, why don't you write down his number and we'll get one of the nurses to give him a ring, OK? Can I help you? Yes. A pair of shoes that I can actually walk in and a clean set of scrubs would be... A step in the right direction. Sorry, who are you? Oh, I'm Sahira Shah, your new registrar. That sort of rhymes. Oh, she hear a shower, you're new registrar. Oh, see, Very good. I can't bear to watch myself. Yeah, do you horrid. need glasses to watch everything? Yeah, I need... To... Oh, oh. They're, they're, you look really well. Thank you. Do you ever see Nana Muscuri? <laughs> ever and ever, forever and ever. I have had that a few times. <laughs> it is. I it thought you were going to sing way. for us today. But you know what? I'm getting a bit older now, and I've kind of <laughs> tried to avoid wearing glasses for so long. It's caught up with me, so here I am. Well, they look lovely. Thank Very you. Good. We say getting a bit older. Am I allowed to say it's your big, of course. big 4 0 this yes. year? Well, nothing. You're a baby compared to most mm. of us. Does that worry you? No, what? not at all. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. But I just never celebrate birthdays. Don't you? Worry? No, it's not that I like, oh, I'm always another year mm. older. I'm actually, I mean, I've got a quite a positive outlook on it because I just think, you know, I've had so many friends that have passed away so young and you just really? have to sort of, yeah, you just think, I'm just lucky to sort of make it through another year completely unscathed. So I loved my 40s. I think you're, diff you're very different in your 40s. You're I much feel more quite different. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to really enjoy them. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to have a big party or anything like that. And I just usually just switch off my aim, phone. Just you and yeah. just dinner just somewhere. Just I bet you she has a big wags night. I bet you it's all real <laughs> I don't live footballers' like wags <laughs> stuff. I'm a single mum, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can't believe your daughter's four. She was four Since last week. Seems weeks ago when she, she was being born. I know. So listen, back to back to Holby. Mm. So Sahira. Sahira. What, what kind of character? She seems quite feisty. We've only seen her for the she's first time She's really last week. feisty. A bit of work is what you're trying to say. It's well, it's, yeah, she's, she is. But the thing is with Sahira, you know, she's a mother of two. Um, and on the surface, she's very polite and she's all smiles. But backstage, you know, she's yeah. got those sort of feet, um, you know, paddling like crazy. Um, very ambitious. She's, she's very ambitious. Um, she's very, very good at her job. And she's got a history with... Henrik Hansen, um, that kind what of kind slowly of history, unfolds. Like romantic history? I don't think it is a romantic history. I think it's more that he's her mentor and he really pushes her. And I think his thing is, well, she's, you know, the kids have got in the way mm. and the marriage, but she could, you know, she could go on to great things. But she is very, very ambitious, but she's not Jack. She's not mm -hmm. kind of really bitchy about mm. it. She's, um, you would never know. Well, like I said, Henrik, Henrik is, a, is a big fan of hers and mm. um, he wants her to do a bit of kind of spying for him, which yes. is not going to go down too well. Let's have a look. There's a clip from tonight's episode. Elective tricuspid valve replacement. Yes, Mr. Hope's. I would like you in theatre. With Mr. Hope? What about Miss Naylor? Mr. Douglas will now assist and you will observe. Observe? Keep an eye, so to speak, and then report back to me. Why? Greg Douglas was appointed by Mr. Hope, not by me. I want to know if that's a good decision or a bad one. You do realise that everybody is suspicious already. And you're basically asking me to be your snitch. I'm merely asking your opinion. You see, when I look at that, I'm, I'm thinking immediately the character that Amanda Meeling played in Amanda's Departed series. Yeah. And people like Patsy Kenz and whatever. They need, they need, well, they need a right, what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean. They need we a need, strong one in there. Yeah, don't we they? need a strong one. And I think, you know, Jack is very, very strong. And she's very, you know, she's kind of hardcore and very in your face. Whereas Sahira's um, approach to her work is completely different. But they both get yes. the job done. What is it like being a doctor? I mean, the a great jargon, thing you know. Sometimes you learn their scripts, I have no I, idea. Neither do I. I read them sometimes and I'm like, how, it seems like a foreign language. Mm. Um, but the weird thing is, you start getting the rhythm of the language and although you don't, you might not know how to pronounce it, it does, you don't, you, you start to pick it up. I know it sounds very, very odd, but it is like learning 
you know, Chinese. Did you do any research? Did you have to spend time in a hospital? Well, yeah, or? we went to the Heart Hospital in Marleybone, um, and I spent a day there. Um, but I have, I want to see a real operation, which I haven't had the chance to see. Why, yet. why would you want to see a real it's operation? Just, you know, if you've got the opportunity to do it, why not? I was just fascinated with all these heart surgeons. At all? I think now, after I've been on this, no, not so much. No. Have you had to do any operation? Any kind of fake operations? Yeah, with blood all the and time. Yet? We do that all the time. Mm. We do it. We have like a proper operating theatre, and it's all, you know, prosthetics. And but it's just amazing. It really is amazing because you have doctors on set. And, you know, the reasons, you know, they tell you what's behind this and what's behind that and how this works. Mm. And it's fascinating. That would make me very discontent. You say, I often wish I had a real job, you know, that I hadn't... <laughs> yeah, know, exactly. You feel like a bit yeah. silly, don't yes, you, doing like, what, what do you're we doing? do except yeah. talk to people? Yeah, and, yeah. and what do I do except pretend to be somebody I'm not? You know, and then you've got Maybe that's why you lives. don't like watching yourself. I because hate it's not that, Because really, you're not watching yourself. I, I hate are, watching you, know. you. I have to force myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, I sit there, what am I like? Oh. I say, that Lila Ruiz yeah. is on tonight, but I have to watch switch this. it off. Gosh. <laughs> Terrible. I have so many tapes of you. That means that tonight at 8 o'clock he's going to have to be sitting glued to that. Have to be sitting glued to that. I would expect nothing less. Mm. Listen, we, we look forward to seeing her progress. I think she's a very interesting character. Yeah, we great. always love to see you here. Oh, it's good for you. Come with us to wear glasses. Do you think you'll introduce the glasses into the series? Um, I think yeah. I'm trying to slowly. Bit bit. Slowly, but in white, I think. Uh -huh. White's yeah. the colour. I read a great one the other day that Liam Neeson puts um, an earpiece now into his ear and somebody feeds him his lines in wow. movies but it says it's brilliant it saves him learning lines i couldn't do that i can't imagine how that works no yeah. i can't imagine having people talking in my ear <laughs> <laughs> terrible good. A terrible good, good seeing you thank good you very much you. Indeed. thank you tonight. Holby tonight eight o'clock bbc one